Alright, so I wanted to make this short little video on a new fix for the PUBG um, crashing on startup and exit to lobby. I watched this first video from Jackson Savvy, and I'll have the link in the description for it. And there was a comment um, in the comment section that mentioned another fix because the original fix wasn't completely working for me. So I tried Dragon Shot's fix, and it worked. And I was very pleased with that. So um, there were people commenting below that were having trouble um, figuring out how to do it. So I figured I'd just make this video real quick for everybody. So the first thing we are going to want to do is open up Windows Explorer, go to your local disk, Program Files 86, or if you have it in Program Files, wherever your Steam folder is. Then we're going to go to our Steam folder. We're then going to go to Steam Apps, then the Common folder, then Find PUBG, which is right here. And then we are going to go to the TL TSL Game folder, Content, and then Packs. So in here, you'll see a lot of um, files starting with Pack Chunk in your folder in your pack folder hopefully you will see some items below this starting with um, maybe TSL game or something other than pack chunk you're gonna wanna highlight all of those items that don't begin with pack chunk and delete them so your folder should just look exactly like mine all beginning with pack chunk once you've done that we can go ahead and exit out of this we're now going to open up our Steam. We're going to right click on Player Unknown Battlegrounds. We're going to go to the Properties, Local Files, and Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will just make sure everything is still working. We're going to say yes, and I'll speed this up real quick, and I'll come back to you once it's done. All right. So now that we are done at 100%, it'll say all files successfully validated. We're gonna go ahead and hit close here and close here. And now we're gonna hit, we're gonna hold Control Shift Escape, and that'll open up our Task Manager. You're probably gonna begin on Processes. We're gonna head over to the Details tab, and we're gonna scroll all the way down. I'm not gonna do anything with this quite yet. Now we're going to go ahead and hit, click Play on Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Yes, because it's a first time install. It thinks it is at least. We're going to see this TSL game BE. That's not what we're going to want. We're going to want this one, the TSL game. We're going to set affinity. Click all processors so that none are selected and then select CPU 0. Hit OK. And now you're going to let the game load. You're still going to need this task manager. And once the game completely loads in, then we're going to go back to here and set the affinity to all processors because I don't think anyone wants to try and play this game with one thread. It's not a good idea. So it's initializing, connecting. All right, so we're in. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So we have all the processors. And now you can play whatever. And now, once you are in a game and you're gonna, if you die or if you win and you're gonna exit a lobby, you have to do the same thing. So we're gonna go Control Shift Escape. It's gonna bring up this. That just happened because I was on the main menu. And before you click that exit to lobby, you're gonna have to go back to TSL Game, click all processors, re click CPU 0, click OK. Once you're back in the lobby, do the same thing that we did before. All processors, hit OK. And I just keep this task manager up. And that should be everything. So if you like this video, please um, click that like button and subscribe. I might be um, doing more videos in the future. I'm not really sure at this point. But um, if you have any questions or if I need to explain anything further, uh, please comment below, and thank you.